We want to see that post-composing or pre-composing a path with a constant path is homotopic to the original path. So we're going to start with some path in our space and we're going to say that the start point of that path is x and we're going to say that the end point of that path is y uh, and then we have a constant path at x which just sends every point in the interval to x and what we want to show is that our path is homotopic to composing the constant path with f. So what is this saying? Well, I want to show that there's a homotopy which on this side is just our original path and on this side, well it first is constant at x and then it does f. And what does this homotopy looks like? look like? Well it looks like this. So along the bottom here we're just constant at x, along the top here we're constant at y, and basically what this says is we start off by doing f, we just do f, and then at the end we sort of, we sort of increase the amount of time we start at the, we wait at the initial point before we do f, and then we do f at whatever speed we need to to get it done by the end. So at the end we wait for half the interval at x and then we do f at double speed. Um, and this is, this homotopy comes from a reparameterization uh, so a map from the interval to itself and the reparameterization is we send a point in the interval to well, we send it to zero if s is in the first half of the interval, and then we send it to 2s if s is in the second half of the interval. And then we also see that Similarly, we, we can see that um, f is homotopic to f composed with the constant map at y. Um, and now we've just sort of taken a mirror image of this homotopy. So we have f still here, but now we have the constant part on top, um, f on the bottom. This is still y here, x here, this is still y but now our homotopy looks like that. Uh, and we get it from a similar reparameterization to this. I want to show that we have some notion of inverse path. So if we have some path in our space, I'm going to define the inverse path, which I will denote as f overline, so as not to confuse it with pre-image, uh, is also a path in x, except it takes a point in the interval to f applied to 1 minus that point in the interval. So at 0 it sends it goes to f of 1 and at 1 it goes to f of 0. So really what it does is you have your path and you go, you travel this way for f, but if you do f inverse, you do the same thing backwards. All right, now I've claimed that this is some sort of inverse, and the way in which it's in inverse is that f composed with f bar is homotopic to the constant map at x where f of zero is x. Um, and the key point, one of the key points here is that when you compose these in the new, to get a homotopy between these, these two paths, the start point of this is still fixed, the end point of this is still fixed, 
But now the middle point where they join is no longer fixed. So that is, well, for this to get a homotopy of paths, we still need this start point to be fixed and this end point to be fixed, but this point no longer has to be fixed. Um, and so the homotopy that we build is a homotopy that looks like this. All right, so on this side, we want to do F, and on this side, we want to do, and then we want to do F bar, and on this side, we just want everything to go to X. So I could also denote that CX. Um, here, this is also X, and here, well, this is also X. Uh, in this, in, on this side, it's F0, and on this side, it's F bar 1. So what does the homotopy look like here? Well, it looks like this. But you have to interpret this diagram now differently from the way we've interpreted it in the past. So what is the what is the, so we'll we'll first say what the homotopy looks like here. So this is at this is at, at time zero, and this is at time one. It's just cx, and we want to say what it looks like in between. And what it looks like in between is we do sum of f, and then we do sum of f bar, and then here we do less of f. And then here, we do less of f, and then less of f bar. And so we're slowly, we're just taking this point and we're pulling it back through. And so what is this, what are these, what are, what, what are these bits? Well, on these bits, we're still doing f and f bar at the same speed that we started with. But in the middle, say here, we're doing a constant map, but not the constant map at f, the constant map at, say, f of a half. So we do here, we do c at f of a half. Um, and say here, we do, uh, so I'll, I'll write this bit down here, we do c of f of a quarter, which is the same thing as c of f, f bar of three quarters. So we go out, so here we go, sorry this should be f of three quarters and then this should be f bar of a quarter. So here, at this point in time, we go out three quarters of the way along f, we wait there for this period of time, and then we go three quarters, and then we start a quarter of the way into f bar and go back along. And that gives us our homotopy um, from f composed with f bar to cx. And you can think of it as at this point is just sucking this, ba this path back, because this point is no longer fixed. All right.